What's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you six different ways to roll. It's quite easy and it makes you feel really good, especially when you wake up in the morning or again before a training session. Um, the first one is a simple calf roll. Basically put, place the foam roller right above your ankle on the calf. Like I said, it's very easy. Each one of these exercises will try and spend around 20 to 30 seconds on each one. And that is up to you how long you want to stay, if you want to stay longer because you find a spot that feels more painful. Try and get the side of them. Try and kind of get everything. Go to the other side. Like I said, how long you stay on it, that's up to you. I usually do 20 to 30 seconds on each position. Get both of them. Slower, a bit faster. The second exercise, which is one of my favorites, is the quad. Place your left knee down, your arms on the mat, and you can start rolling. Getting really deep. You can go to the upper part of your leg and place it. This one feels really good. And after you spend about a few rolls on this one, you can get the side. It feels really good. You can move to the groin, to the inside of the leg. It feels great. Same thing on the other leg. Let's swap. Getting in the hip. Try and put as much pressure as you want. The more you do, the better it is. The more you do it, the easier it gets. The growing. And then we'll move back sitting up. Similar thing to the cow form, but under your quads, which is the hamstrings, and you try and get in there, that's great, a little bit on the inside, a little bit on the outside, it's just a way to basically break all the little tissues that have tightened up while you sleep. Let's move on to the next one. This one is probably, I would say, the most painful one, but the most rewarding one for the glute. So you place your left leg on top of the right knee your arms backwards and start rolling and really try and find where it's the most tight usually there's lots of tightness on the glutes it's, this one isn't very pleasant if you want to put more pressure you can hold on with only one arm so that you have more weight on the foam roller oh. same thing on the other side if you want more strength, this way you can really get in there. This one is not too pleasant, I can guarantee you that. 
lifting it a little bit lower. And then usually you're not supposed to roll the lower back because it's not great to do that. So I usually just roll my upper back. So from the right there you can see, you know, you can hide yourself and really get it into those muscles behind you. This one feels good. You're probably gonna hear some cracking, lots of tightness. You can swap your arms over. Oh. I felt good. And the last exercise, very good for my shoulder problems that I've had. Place your, place the foam roller right on the traps over here and start rolling up and down. Try and find the best angle and roll and place your arm this way. You can leave it straight. You can go a bit higher. You can go a bit longer. really find that if you want you can also just hold it where it hurts and just breathe into it breathing is always important you can see the back of it I'm using the rod I like a place it and you roll a little bit lower That's it for today. Some easy, simple rolling exercises that you can do at home. These are quite cheap, easy to travel with. At first, it won't be very pleasant. <laughs> it is a little painful, but you get used to it. So enjoy, hope it was helpful.